Hello and welcome back to Vault Holocron, where today I am going to talk about Lady Proxima and the White Worms. The White Worms are a criminal organisation on Corellia, led by Lady Proxima and seen in Solo, a Star Wars story. They took in children from Corellia, which they called Scrum Rats, and gave food and shelter to them for help in criminal activities. Now I am going to talk about Lady Proxima and some notable White Worm members. Lady Proxima is the female Grindelid and was the crime boss of the White Worms, working in a lair on Corellia. She formed the White Worms before 13 BBY. After Han failed to secure Coaxium for the White Worms, he was brought to Proxima, which as we see in Solo led to him throwing a rock through a window, leading to sunlight entering the chamber and burning the left side of Proxima's face. This burn was present for years. Lady Proxima once met with Aphra. Han actually returned to Corellia at one point, looking for parts with Chewie. Moloch recognised and brought Han to Proxima. Proxima told Han that he would be punished for what he did, while Chewie gave Han a thermal detonator, which Han used to explode the window, permanently burning the right side of Proxima's face and blinding her right eye. Han and Chewie escaped. Later, Bazine Natal captured a skilled white worm to get a meeting with Proxima. She asked Proxima for the location of the Millennium Falcon, but Proxima did not know where it was. One notable member of the white worms is Bansi. She caught the eye of Lady Proxima for being the best rat catcher out of the scrum rats for her age. She was given the rank third girl and was present when Han escaped Proxima for the first time. Bansi was a smart and skilled fighter, but was also mean. Next up is Chates, a white worm which became a scrum rat after his father was killed by muggers. He wanted to beat up Han to impress another white worm called Rebolt. Now for Kostra, the orange twi'lek white worm which worked as a sentry. She was loyal to the white worms and worked near the surface in the den of the white worms, allowing her to breathe fresher air. Next up is Halon. A thief scrum rat whose small size allowed him to fit into gaps other thieves could not. He was a little disobedient and let the pests he caught survive. Now for Halro, a human child which worked for the White Worms. Next up is Jabbert, a male Grindelid. At some point in time he was the head, a position held by the lead child. However, he went missing. Now for Jaglio. A female white worm which was a dancer before she joined the white worms. She was a thief and was able to fit into tight spaces. She fought using a self-invented martial art. Next up is Lekelf, a sentry worker for the white worms. He was loyal which meant he got to work near the surface in the den of the white worms with fresher air. Now for Lexi, also known as Lex, which was a scrum rat. She stole from a younger scrum rat thus taking the extra portion they would have gotten. Next up is Moloch, a Grindelid which made sure none of the scrum rats worked against the Grindelid matriarch. Now for Kira. Kira was a white worm and held the rank of head. In her early life, her and Han were lovers. They planned to escape Corellia using a vial of coaxium which Han stole. After Han burnt Proxima's face, Kira and Han tried to escape together. However, Han got away and Kira was captured. For her betrayal, Kira was sold into slavery and eventually ended up with Dryden Voss. Kira tried to escape her cell for a year. Eventually, she killed the guard outside her cell and reached the escape pods to find Dryden Voss waiting. He offered her a position in Crimson Dawn for her lifelong loyalty. Kira accepted and was branded. She became Voss's top lieutenant. As we saw in Solo, Kira reunited with Han Solo in this position and went on a mission with him to get unrefined coaxium from Kessel with the help of Lando. Kira betrayed Voss by letting Han give the coaxium to Emphis Nest. Kira jeweled and killed Voss when she and Han delivered the coaxium. She told Han that she would be right behind him but actually contacted Maul using Voss's ring 
and took on public leading of Crimson Dawn. Maul then told her that they would be working more closely together from that point on. Next up is Rebel, a scrum rat for Proxima. He brought Han in front of Lady Proxima along with Psyche. After Han and Kira escaped, he chased them down along with Moloch and Psyche, catching Kira. So, I take it everyone here knows Han Solo quite well, so I will only do a brief rundown of him. Han was born on Corellia and was a scrum rat. He escaped using a vial of coaxium but had to leave his love Kira behind. He fought in the Imperial military for a while where he met Chewbacca, joined Beckett for a mission to get coaxium and eventually gave coaxium to Emphis Ness, funding the rebellion. He then became a smuggler, eventually joining the rebellion. He had a son with Leia and went back to smuggling when Ben turned to the dark side. He later died to his son's blade. Oh, I almost forgot, he beat Lando, who tried to cheat, in Sabacc for the Millennium Falcon and made the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. Just did the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. Not if you round down, buddy. Now for Psyche, a white woman, a favoured thug, for Moloch along with Rebol. When Han and Kira fled, he, Moloch and Rebol chased them and called Kira. He also looked after Sibian and Hounds, his favourite being Teomat, which he wanted to set on Rebol. Next is Tolly, a human child which slipped into utility wiring trucks and patched into the power and data grids so that the white worms could stay connected to the rest of the planet. Now for Tsulo, a Rodian. He became a scrum rat after his parents were hit by a speeder when he, them and his brother went on a business trip to Corellia. He left his brother for being reckless with their money. Tsulo died along with the Kaldana Syndicate, who won a data cube at an auction. Once the Kaldana received the data cube, they were killed. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you here again at Vault Holocron.